Everything is there in the devotional service, in the nectar of devotion, teachings of Lord Chaitanya, Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, we are publishing. If we do not understand, if we think that these books are for sale, and we are all learned, we have learned everything, finished, our business is finished. That will not improve the condition. Prasanna Manasho Bhagavad Bhakti Yoga, Bhagavad Tattva Vigyana. It is a science. As you learn science, just like our Swarup Damada, doctor, so he is now doctor. We have got another doctor in uh, Nivindana. He is also a scientist. So, if you want to take the doctorate title, that is also the surrender. There are committees three, four main committees. When they certify, yes, this is all right. This thesis is presented by such and such. It is approved. Then you get. Uh, so everywhere there is. Tadvigyanatham sāguru meva avigacchet. Uh, so if we are not serious about understanding the science of Krishna, if you take some opportunity uh, to become this, to become that, and to make some money and this and that, then the whole thing is finished. For opportunities there is no Krishna consciousness. For the real surrender so Madhasra. So Bhagavat Tattva Vigyanam, uh, everyone we are at least we have um, enlisted ourselves to become uh, and graduate in Bhagavad Tattva Vijnana, this is the process. Uh, uh, madasraya, Krishna says. Madasraya means yogaṁ uh, janyaṁ madasraya. Uh, to become under Krishna or that is not possible uh, because uh, without taking shelter of Krishna's uh, servant, Gopi Bhattu Padakamalu Daso Daso Daso. We have to become servant of the servant of the servant of the servant of Krishna. Not aspiring, I shall become directly servant of Krishna. That is Mahabhat. Our process is the servant of the Sachaitana Mahabhu teaches the servant of the this more one has become servant of the hundred generation down. He is perfect. So uh, try to understand Bhagavad Tattva Vijnanam uh, Mukta Sangasya Jayati. Bhagavad Tattva Vijnanam, this science who can understand? Mukta Sangasya. Mukta means liberate and Sangha means association. So association means we are always we are contaminated by the material nature. Uh, sometimes we are good, sometimes we are passionate, sometimes we are rascal. There are three gunas. Some of them are very good, and some of them are passionate, and some of them are rascals. Uh, so we have to transcend even the platform of so-called goodness. That is called mukta sangha because in the material life we are always associating with these gunas, three qualities, gunamai, māyā, devit jīsā gunamai, gunamai, guna these three gunas. So it is very difficult. Sometimes we are in the platform of goodness, then we fall down in the passion, then we fall down in ignorance, or some ignorance I rise again in goodness and again fall down. This is going on. But therefore you have to become mukta-saṅgasa. 
above all these qualities. However, I am very good man, I am good manager, I am this. You have to surpass that also. That is called mukta sangha. So that mukta sangha so is possible when we are sincerely engaged in devotional service, just like the deity varsi. The deity varsi means gradually to become mukta sangha. The deity varsi is essential. There is process, you must rise early in the morning, you must take bath, you should offer Mangala Artik, then after that, after that, dressing, flowering. In this way, if you always remain, then gradually you will become Mukta Sangha.